All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the problem 100 to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of x plus 1 to the power of x. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is rewrite 100 to the power of x as 10 squared to the power of x. So now this is equal to 10 to the power of x plus 1 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So 10 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of x to the power of 2. So now I have 10 to the power of x to the power of 2 is equal to 10 to the power of x plus 1 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form, or sorry, 1 to the power of any number is just going to be 1. So we can just get rid of this x as an exponent because it won't really change anything. So now I have 10 to the power of x squared is equal to 10 to the power of x plus 1. And now from here, I'm going to let 10 to the power of x equal to the variable m. So now I have m squared is equal to m plus 1. And this turns into m squared minus m minus 1 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to use the quadratic formula to solve this. So the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I get m is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4a, is which is 1, times c, which is negative 1, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this turns into positive 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus, sorry, plus 4 over 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So this is the value of m. And to be precise, the two values of m are 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 and 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, remember how we let m equal 10 to the power of x. So 10 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 and 10 to the power of x is also equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So for my second equation over here, 10 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Well, 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 is a negative number. And you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal negative, meaning there's no solution to this equation. So we are only left with 10 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 10 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And if I have something in the lo form log a to the power of b, I can move the ex exponent b to the front. So this turns into b times log a. So now I have log 10 to the power of x, which I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 10 is equal to the log of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And now I'm going to divide both sides by log 10. So then these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 10. And log 10, if you guys already know, is equal to 1. So this turns to log of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over 1, which is the same thing as log of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. There's no need to include the over 1 because anything over 1 is itself. So this is my solution to this equation.
All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64. So the variable I want to find the value to in this equation is x. And for my solution, I'm going to first start by taking the power of 4 on both sides. So I get x to the power of x to the power of 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. However, m and n are interchangeable, meaning this can also be written as a to the power of n to the times m. Now, if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times m, this should be equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So, x to the power of x to the power of 4 to the power of 4. In this, I can think of x to the power of 4 as m and 4 as n. So, this turns into x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now, 64 to the power of 4, I can rewrite as 8 squared to the power of 4, which turns into 8 to the power of 8. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a equals b. So in this case, x to the power of 4 is equal to 8. And to solve for x, I'm going to take the fourth root on both sides. So I get x is equal to positive or negative fourth root of 8.